A major milestone has been achieved in India's quest of sending humans into space. The CE-20 cryogenic engine is now human-rated for Gaganyaan mission. Indian Space Research Organization successfully conducted tests related to the cryogenic stage of the human-rated LVM-3 launch vehicle for Gaganyaan human space flight missions. Now, the ground qualification tests for the human rating of the CE-20 engine involved life demonstration tests, endurance tests, and performance assessment. ISRO, remember, has also successfully completed the acceptance tests of the flight engine identified for the first unmanned Gaganyaan, that's G1 mission, tentatively scheduled for the second quarter of this year. Aimed for launch in 2024-25, the Gaganyaan mission aims to launch a crew of three humans into an orbit of 400 kilometers for a three-day mission and bring them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian sea waters. But how does today's achievement uh, hold significance? What does it mean? Let's decode it for you. On the broadcast, I'm joined by Jijit Nadmuri Ravi. He's a former scientist at ISRO, also has been part of many GSLV launches and Chandrayaan-1 study phase. Good evening. Namaskar to you, Jijit. Uh, you know, lots of technical terms, lots of uh, uh, lots of jargons and terminology related uh, to the Gaganyaan and the scientific tests that were carried out. But help us simplify and understand what exactly has happened and how is it significant for the Gaganyaan mission? Yeah, yes. So uh, today's uh, success is uh, like a uh, important stepping stone for uh, converting this uh, space, this particular Gaganyan, uh, the crew module, uh, safe for humans. So when I say that, so basically what it means is that, see, uh, ISRO has previously done a lot of unmanned space uh, space flight like Chandrayaan, uh, then Mangalya and everything. But uh, in all those things, there are no humans inside the uh, the spacecraft, which we call as the uh, currently when it is a human ready uh, spacecraft, it's called crew module. So inside that, like a lot of dangers awaits uh, any kind of uh, uh, person inside a kind of uh, uh, spacecraft or a crew module when it is uh, rising up in, into the sky. So the primary is like, uh, for example, each stage, uh, because uh, in a kind of a GSLV, uh, this is a, like a GSLV's uh, uh, modified version, Mark, Mark III, which is used for the Gagan in, in, in flight. So we have in our previous, uh, uh, like, uh, now, whatever fail-safe mechanism for a human uh, to survive or to escape any kind of dangerous situation. So we have already done previous uh, like tests uh, so that uh, whenever, if, when the first stage is there and if there is any difficulty or any problem, then they can escape through a uh, escape board, etc. So now this is the kind of uh, uh, certification of the third stage, that is a cryogenic stage. So that uh, no, you can actually say that uh, the humans inside the, the this module will be safe. Uh, we have primarily have uh, four uh, four kind of fail safe engines and uh, that also itself provides some mm. redundancy and safety so whenever you know some kind of uh, engine failure is there then you can have that make use of the redundancy and uh, another condition for uh, making it uh, human ready is like when this uh, the people are inside and the uh, engine is in the uh, like the, the the launch vehicle is in the third stage now so there are certain difficulties like when it is third stage it's already up in the uh, into the space so that other normal recovery escape situations will not be possible so uh, one is the stability of the the firing itself is, a, is an important that is the uh no, no, you have to maintain the thrust for a certain degree of time uh, without any kind of uh, turbulences or fluctuations okay. so typically it is around uh, one hour 45 mm. minutes that that is that that is achieved today uh, with the you know, whatever uh, reports that is coming in, so all these uh, like tests, like this is just uh, like uh, one of the series of tests that has been conducted in the last uh, two three years. So this is a major milestone in terms okay. of qualifying the the entire mission, the, including the launch vehicle and it's the cryo stage as human yeah. ready. So in a single terms, it is like ensuring so the human this, readiness so this is of extremely the extremely. This is yes. the very basis of on which we will be able to send uh, and launch Gaganyaan mission, right? Correct, correct. Yes. This is the now kind that of, we uh, know that the challenges will be. Uh, yeah. Please go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, one of the major milestone. I would say the most important milestone uh, for the readiness because we already have uh, hmm. the the previous uh, test already confirmed that 
once it is re-entering into the uh, return back when it is re-entering into the atmosphere it can safely land onto the ocean all this has been tested so this is uh, one of the uh, important okay. uh, like uh, success that we have got for the, the mission and now based on, on the basis of this we can have the test flights and uh, so i have as what i understood it's like in a series like uh, uh, the Ganyan 1, 2, 3, and in the last stage, you can have the crew also part of the, the mission. So around three three crew members. And uh, we also have, uh, like, for example, in the, in the coming test flights, the first one uh, in the planned in the this uh, second quarter of uh, this year, we will have an unmanned uh, uh, space hmm. flight wherein the parameters will be monitored. And then we also have uh, uh, some sort of a, a robot, Vyom Mitra, that is being planned. Uh, who will be like yeah. uh, instead yeah. of a human being or a kind of animal we will have uh, the this particular robot which uh, will be there inside the space flight in, the, in this particular qualified uh, crew module and this uh, robot the Vyomitra is also mm. capable of understanding the kind of uh, environmental variations and any kind of threat situations that may be coming inside the crew module so that we get an early understanding of now, what are the kind of possible hmm. things that can go wrong in a kind of a, a mission? So that information also you will yeah. get. And after you know that...